What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Night Studios, and today we're starting a new series, hopefully. Um, I'm still not 100% committed to what's going to be going up on uh, Saturdays for my regular schedule. Um, last week I did a Programming 102 episode, which was fun, um, but like I said, that's not going to be the regular episode, it's just when I happen to have more progress done on a script, or I feel I've completed it to the point that I can actually uh, share it with everybody and stuff like that, um, then I'll do another episode of that, which may end up taking up the Saturday slot when those are ready, but in the meantime I needed to do something else. Um, and at the moment, I'm still kind of going to mess around and try out a couple of things, probably, depending on what your guys' feedback is on this episode. Uh, but this is going to be a new Let's Build series for Space Engineers. Um, my other contender was doing like an Imperion Inspiration series, or just continuing the Imperion Let's Play as it stood where it was. Although, if I did that, I probably would start a new season as there's been some big updates with the game, and I might, um, I might end up doing a different playthrough or a, a, a rebooted series type thing. But at the moment, I'm going to try and do a Let's Build type series and keep that around for a month or so, um, four or five episodes, somewhere in there, and see what you guys think about it and if you like it, if you want to keep doing it. Um, that said, this is going to be a little bit different. We are in creative. Um, I've tweaked a lot of the settings to where, um, you know, obviously we can't get hurt and all that kind of stuff. And I turned off thruster damage, block damage, things like that. Some people, um, if you're playing in a survival environment where those are on and then you build a ship that doesn't have them on, you know, you can come into discrepancies where, you know, it, you thought it would work and then it's, it's not going to work. So... I'm prefacing that because I'm coming at this a little bit differently. Normally when I did Let's Builds and things, I would be doing it with the idea of uh, building it for my Let's Play in my survival world. So it's like I'm designing it over here and then I'll just implement it over here or something to that effect. This one, at least for this build, the series overall will adapt to whatever build I'm doing. But this particular build, um, I'm going to be doing it a little differently. And this build is going to be a ship that I like to use in Season 2 of Dog Squad. And I'm using this as kind of a two birds, one stone. It gives me another Let's Build series to get feedback from you guys and things like that. I discuss that um, at length in other videos. But it also allows me to work on uh, designing some of the ships that I need for that series. So it's kind of a, you know... Uh, two birds, one stone scenario. So that said, because it's designed for a machinima, um, the actual functionality of the ship might be lacking in comparison to, um, you know, a, a regular build of with survival intended. As far as I may not do conveyor systems, I may not worry about the air tightness and all that kind of stuff. It may just be a, um, it may just be a a a, a picture build type of thing. It may be something that's actually just a uh, for show for the machinima type thing. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. I couldn't find the word. So, um, yeah. So that said, what we're going to be working on, I'm going to start things off. Um, I may end up throwing in like a picture type of thing or something from either Blender or somewhere else where I've kind of designed the model. I probably won't have time for it this episode. I may do it later at some point. So let me take a quick break real quick and I'm going to throw together kind of a small grid mock-up um, of just the basic shell so that you guys have an idea of what I'm kind of thinking of and what I'm going to be going for. Okay, so this is the overall kind of um, frame that I'm thinking of working with. Um, I didn't finish it yet because I wanted to go through and explain some of it as I was going. Um, this episode may in fact actually be kind of the overall layout and kind of planning out the ship. I'm not sure yet. I never really tackled a ship this way. Uh, normally I kind of just start building and see what's going on. It will be a large ship grid. So it's not going to be this. This is just a small one, and I was just throwing it together. Um, some of you eagle-eyed people out there may recognize the kind of design and see the similarity between that and what I was working on in the Imperion series, because this is essentially the same design. Um, I was going to mess with it and kind of play around with it in um, Imperion, 
but then, um, you know, then do... Eh, this might be a little wide, actually. I want that nose... I want the nose to be a bit more narrow, more... Probably along this shape. That's not terrible. Um, that is using the uh, the ramps at their full. Like there's no spacing in between them or anything to um, to th to uh, minimize the angle or anything like that. But looking at it from the top, it does fan out a little too far. The distance from the nose to the the point back here, the wingspan, I like. Uh, but I'd like it to be closer to like this kind of shape. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, but particularly this point thing needs to come in a little bit more uh, for my taste. Um, and then, let's see. So then you'd have the main hallway thing, uh, that, or the neck that connects the back part. Um, I just kind of messed with this back part here and added a little taper to it, and then this would be kind of the uh, I guess what I would dub the wing pods kind of thing, where the thrusters and, and jump drives and stuff are going to be. Uh, the jump drives may actually be in the, in the middle, but this will be kind of like the thruster assembly. And what I'm thinking, I'm going to do this really, really basic with just square blocks, and it's not really even symmetrical or anything, but just to give you guys an idea of where my head's at, uh, I'm going to do this really crappy... Dang nabbit, sometimes I can't stand how this connects and stuff. Um, I'm going to do this really crappy ring here. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's just start coming back down. Nope. Um, so essentially, what I'm going to be doing is this kind of like ring type state, but what I want to do to give it a little bit of a stylistic flair, as it were, nope, uh, is that, okay, so you get the idea, it'll, it'll have these kind of like ring type things, and this will be more uh, three-dimensional, so for example, what I'd like to do is probably keep an angle, let's try three, um, and actually, I'm going to change, I'm going to turn off um, this plane because I actually want the taper to be more uh, dramatic on the top than I do the bottom. And that's partially because the top is going to house the bridge. Um, so I'd kind of like to do something in this vein. I think. And about there. Yeah, somewhere about in there. Um, we're going to pick this up a bit. And this is going to be the actual bridge level. Um, and then on this part, we'll kind of walk it a bit more drastically down. And again, like I said, being a small grid, this is kind of just a, a skeletal layout. This is not really... Um, let I tell you what, let's, let's work on the assumption this is like a one block thing. Um, actually, you know what? I want this out a bit further. I want this to be a bit more... Let's try something like... Eh, no, I don't like that either. Something like that. That's a pretty good ratio, I think. Um, and we'll go ahead and do a little bit of marking here. So this would be the bridge, uh, this level, this layer. And uh, what I'm thinking is essentially doing something like uh, one block would be a large grid block. So this is just kind of like a small layout kind of thing. Um, I don't know if I can get away with Let's try a two. I don't think I can get away with the same angle on the sides there. Wow, that actually ended up perfect. I didn't even mean to do that. So that's kind of a semi-structure of how the, the top part's going to look. Um, down here, like I said, I want a more dramatic, or a, a less dramatic. Let's try a five 
because we did what a three a three angle let's try a five here so one two three four five and then we'll go up a block so I need to paste out like six at a time and it puts us relatively about in the middle could probably do one smaller one let's try three and then we'll start bringing it back down again in a bit more of a dramatic angle dang nabbit I keep getting these floating blocks everywhere uh, and that brings us right there okay so I don't think we can get away with that dramatic uh, let's try like that I really do I really do get annoyed at how touchy it get, the the block detection can be sometimes. And then we could just run this back, I guess. So I kind of like that. We could, um, we could make this a bit more defined there. Something like that, maybe. Um, and that way the bottom isn't as, um, tall as the, as the top part. And we can do the same thing here. Let's try... What did I do here? I did a two, so let's try a three here and see if we can reach. Wow. That actually worked out pretty good with the exception of this block right here. But we could add, could add a little bit there, maybe. Take care of that. I like it. I think we can work with it. Uh, and we could just add a block there saying that's the that's the connection point. So that should be kind of the overall uh, nose type shape, I'm thinking. Uh, it probably won't be this thick on the nose, actually. This is going to be some kind of angled uh, blocks. Because actually this would be like a ramp and a slope and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, I'm just kind of, um, rather than switching blocks, we're just going to block it out a little bit. Uh, so we have an idea what we're doing, but this part in here is where I want to add some creativity and I might actually uh, turn this plane back on uh, Because what I'd like to do is have I don't know how exactly it'll work at the moment uh, But I'd like to have something like this going on uh, Not unlike a fan blade or something and what I'm kind of wondering is putting all of like um, my lateral thrusters, like these could be uh, up in this section from here, this could be up and down, uh, these could be left and right, or something, or these could be all left and these could be all right, something that gives us our, our top down left and right thrusters, and then in here in this, and we could even round this off and make it kind of a, a circle within a circle kind of shape. Um, and then in, do, in this kind of chamber is where we could have our main, like, forward and backward hydrogen thrusters or something like that. It's kind of one of the things. Keeping in mind, like I said, this is being designed for machinima purposes, so the thruster damage, block damage, all that's off, so we can really pack in a lot of thrusters without them being, uh, without worrying about them, like, blowing anything up. Um, so that's kind of the idea. Looking at it from afar, though... I definitely want to bring this wing in a bit more, um, probably to at least this point, I think. Maybe even one more like this one, but I have to be careful with getting it too narrow, and then it looks like a point and not kind of like a, a triangle type shape, so somewhere in here is probably what I'd like to taper it down to. Unfortunately, what I was trying to do... Now, grant you, this is the small grid mock-up, so it may change. But I was trying to use these ramps in their fullest so that you got a nice seam. Uh, but it looks like they're still a little too uh, dramatic of an angle. If it was like a one of those modded blocks, the um, which I might end up using, I don't know. Um, the, uh, what is it, like 1x3 ramps? I might have gotten the angle that I was actually looking for. Um, now, with that said, all of this is going to have kind of a taper to it. I don't want anything to be super uh, jagged, so it would be something like this in terms of the hull shape. Uh, we 
we do something like that ish I mean again this is all blocked out rough draft uh, but something like that and so there's a little bit of a curve going around there this back end part is a little bothersome to me either I need a longer neck or I need this to be a little uh, longer because the proportions just seem a bit off again none of this is to scale it's not really um, accurate by any stretch but uh, it's just kind of roughing out the the blueprint design but I'm, I'm feeling like the back end just kind of drops off and there's nothing really there of note um, so now that said I will say this I didn't really des uh, lay this out totally accurately in that this is actually supposed to be a longer um, chamber chamber not chamber but a longer uh, tube like shape not just circles um, I don't know how long I'm gonna actually make them I hadn't really gotten that far with it but they're not just uh, they're not just gonna basically be um, actually I don't really even need that extra layer for this uh, but they're basically not just gonna be the thing now these parts this this inner part may be a little thinner um, but the front part will at least be actually this is a little too wide now that I'm looking at it uh, they won't be this wide it should probably be closer to actually it should probably be closer to the width of this so we're gonna go ahead and cut this like so didn't really think that through at least on these blocks the other ones were connected but I didn't really even I didn't really think that through um, but yeah these are gonna be we're gonna do it again and mess everything up like so so yeah they should actually come out to about here probably um, enough to where you can you can tell where the uh, connection point is to the rest of the ship but at the same time um, not enough to where it doesn't look like they're separate pieces I want them to be a little bit bigger than the neck of, of where they're connecting back here um, and again like I said none of this is super accurate this is probably gonna be uh, more let's see how do I want to do that something like this some something a bit more stylized where there's uh, a more of an angle or something like that it's not just gonna be a straight connection point uh, this probably isn't the most accurate representation of that something like this and you know same kind of deal over here you're gonna have a well, I don't know what I'm doing now at this point I'm messing it up but something to this effect where you have a thinner neck uh, but it kind of connects to everything in the end is kind of the overall idea and then this kind of pod is gonna be in the middle but it's not gonna extend the full width of um, of this what I'm dubbing kind of the fan blade uh, kind of shape so uh, like I said this is not gonna be a small ship grid but I wanted to give you guys a bit of a more accurate um, picture of what I was thinking and quite frankly I was a little pressed for time making this episode and so I, I actually wanted to do a quick mock-up like really basic in like blender or something uh, where I could actually kind of spin it around and show you guys like a 3d model uh, but I didn't really I there was some family stuff that came up and I didn't really end up having time to uh, do all of that so I figured I would do it like this and just do it in game so that's a little bit more to to that's a little bit more along the lines of what I'm thinking it's still a little it's got a little bit of a scrawny neck going on here uh, so that's not really accurate but you get the idea the fan part will actually be a bit uh, wider or longer depending on which way you're looking at it from the bridge point connection from the rest of the ship and this will have some kind of decorative you know connection into um, let's actually just add a couple of blocks there because that just looks kind of weird and then we'll do something like that um, yeah I messed up this ramp part back here but it's fine so yeah that's kind of the overall 
ballpark of what I'm thinking for the... And, and I'm not sure that actually looks a little bit better. Um, yeah, all these all these rough squares and things will end up being ramps or curves or something uh, a lot more uh, stylized. Uh, but I think part of it, I think this front nose needs to be longer and thinner. I really think that's where a lot of the issue is coming in for me for this back end part um, because it makes the back end look too stubby and fat. Or not fat. It makes the front look fat and the back end's kind of smushed, is is what I'm thinking. So if this was a bit more elongated, like this whole shape was a bit more elongated, particularly in the back, I could actually leave these fan blades a bit the way that they are, um, but essentially just taper the back a bit more. I'm not really sure how I want to do that. But we could just mess around with this a little bit and try and actually... Um, nope, that went up. Didn't want to do that. Something like that, which gives it a little bit more of a tail. I'm not sure about that. The tail part I'm a little iffy on. Uh, but the front, it definitely feels too wide and too narrow. I want the nose to come out further. Uh, judging by the looks of this, maybe somewhere in... Come on, go straight. Why are you going out to the side? Maybe somewhere in the... In something like that direction. And I tell you what we're going to do. We're actually going to cut off uh, this back end here. And I'm doing that... I really do sometimes just really not... It really annoys... It annoys me. Um, I'm going to narrow it like that. I do want it to go all the way to the edge. I don't want it to have this straight line here, but just for the the intent of kind of gauging. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take out these ramp pieces um, because with the rest of it being block, I think it's throwing off kind of my overall eyeball design of it. So what I want to do is what are we doing? Twos here. I don't think that'll I don't think that'll actually end up working. So. Let's try a three block setup here and see if that will end up closer to where I want it. Okay, that's like that. So go three and add one more. And obviously the angle drastically sharpens, uh, or yeah narrows sharpens back here in a it's basically going in a different direction um, so that works there I think so that's probably a bit more accurate to, to what I'm thinking um, and I think that looks a lot better I think the the longer more narrow uh, front triangle point I think gives it a better uh, meaty feel to the ship like, there's more um, substance kind of thing. Um, and, of course, that throws all this off. But I think you guys overall probably have a good idea of what I'm thinking uh, for this kind of stuff. Let's try... Let's try a five on this top part, and then we'll adjust the bottom later. But like I said, I'm not putting too, too much stock in um, how this is looking, just because... Um, Hmm. Okay, so that's a little too narrow of an angle, I think. Um, I think one of the things is we need to extend this to maybe a four block, and then I need to bring this actually out further. Um, like, as, as in, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, bring this down to a three, maybe? I don't know if I like that or not. Let's bring this up to a three count. Hold on, something something just got messed up here. I don't know what just happened. Um, I want this one to be about this long, if not longer. I want the bridge to be, yeah, kind of in that region, I think. 
Um, so we'll get rid of that. And then coming off of the bridge is where um, we should actually keep our pattern going. So let's try... All right, so something is not really lining up here. Let's try like this. So that's a four. That would be a four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's four. That's four. Uh, we could make that a three, maybe. And that might end up working out okay for the bridge angle. I'm not sure. It still looks a little narrow. Um, but I don't know if I start going to the threes for all of this, if it's going to end up working in the end, because it, it adds a lot of blocks here. Um, but I could just make the bridge a bit more narrow. Something to that effect. I don't know. That looks a little fat to me. So more than likely, I'll probably end up trimming the bridge back and we'll, we'll go with like a, a four block, I think. Um, Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So something like that. And again, uh, this is just kind of spitballing and brainstorming, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so yeah, that's that's overall kind of the the vibe I want to give to the ship is is I want this kind of longer, uh, not too tall. I don't want it to be real tall, but I want kind of a longer triangular. Not Star Destroyer, but kind of like a... Almost as if a Star Destroyer was stretched out and on the front. And then the back end of the ship is something entirely different. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments and stuff about um, any suggestions you may have. Because, like I said, um, eventually I want to, to use this kind of stuff in Dog Squad and things. So, you know, I'm not trying to, like, take anybody's ideas or anything like that. Uh, that's kind of the whole point of building my own ships, was rather than, like, downloading a ship off the workshop and using it in, uh, in game or something, the whole kind of premise was to design my own things. But I'm very open to suggestions as far as, like, I think it should be a little longer or something, where it's not really, like, something over the top. Uh, or, you know, crazy, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments about this and the series in, in general. Would you want to see more of this eventually once uh, this is done? Hopefully by the next episode I'll have the layout finished um, and by that I mean if not before the episode of uh, part two, if not before that um, then by the end of it I hope to have been able to put more time into it and stuff like that and um you know, that that way we don't spend more than two episodes of this of uh, planning and we can actually start building in, in real scale uh, the size of the ship and stuff. And there's going to be a lot more details to it as far as um, I, I'd like to do the bridge having a, um, kind of a glass window feel and then having a steel top part so it'll have kind of a sunken... Um, protected but uh, visible kind of bridge style. It's probably not going to make a whole lot of sense at the moment because we're dealing in such a small scale and it kind of looks all blocky. Uh, but hopefully uh, we can keep going with it. So, uh, like I said, again, let me know what you guys' thoughts might be on the design itself, any suggestions you may have, uh, but also on the series. If, if you're interested in doing more of this kind of stuff, if you would rather do more Let's Play stuff or something else entirely, let me know. Because as I said, I'm trying to find... Um, I already had kind of set in stone the Let's Play for Space Engineers Elite Dangerous and then the Inspiration series were going to be 304 that I kept, but my fourth one was a bit open in terms of what I put in that time slot. So I'm trying a few things. I, I'm going to experiment with some stuff. If I'm seeing traction with this, then I'll just keep going with it. If I'm seeing that a lot of people aren't uh, really interested in it or something, then I might switch over and try and do some experimenting on some other series. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. Um, just a quick disclaimer. This is pro this is the first episode of the series, but we are not going to have another episode next week. Um, actually, all of my series are going to be off next week. Um, the last episode for the channel is airing on Christmas Eve day with the Space Engineers Inspiration episode, so if you're watching this and everything's gone according to plan, that'll be tomorrow. Um, 
but at that point I'm taking a week off for Christmas vacation and to do stuff with family and things like that. And then I should be, I believe if my memory serves, my next episode will be the Elite Dangerous episode the following week. And it should be airing on, I think, January the 2nd, if my memory serves. So just keep that in mind um, that we won't have any episodes next week. But I hope to see you guys in the next year. In the meantime, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you guys in the new year. So again, leave your feedback. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And I will see you all next time. Peace.